Hello, thank you for joining us today at the Fuqua School of Business. I'm Steven Seed. I am a second year here at Fuqua and a member of Fuqua Pride. And we're really excited to have you here today uh, for this uh, conversation with Fuqua Pride. We have uh, first and second year students here from uh, Fuqua and we'll answer, we'll be able to take some of your questions, talk about our experience here at Fuqua and specifically uh, being members of Fuqua Pride here on campus. Uh, so I'd like to start by introducing uh, my classmates. We'll go down uh, the list and people can introduce themselves. Uh, maybe if you could say your year here at Fuqua, um, how you identify, uh, if you have a leadership position at Fuqua Pride, and we call those cabinet positions. So if you have a cabinet position uh, here, and maybe you can say one reason of why Fuqua. We all have, we have a lot of reasons about why we chose Fuqua, but if you can just give us one. So we can start with Chaz. All right. Uh, I'm Chaz Allen. I'm a first year student. I identify as a gay man. Um, I am an admissions chair for the Fuqua Pride Cabinet, and I chose Fuqua because of the great people who are here. That's the easy one. <laughs> um, I'm Nancy Abramowitz. Um, I identify as a bisexual cis female. Um, I'm a second year. I am the uh, career chair for Fuqua Pride this year, and I chose Fuqua. Uh, my sister went here, uh, met her husband here, and they had a fantastic experience. So I knew I was going into a great uh, business school experience. Hi everybody, my name is Jerron Rhodes. I am currently a second year student here at Fuqua. I am currently the advocacy chair at Fuqua Pride. And uh, one of the reasons why I chose to come to Fuqua, also similar to Chad, was the people. And so I visited campus a couple of times, and just the interactions and uh, getting to know current students, uh, faculty, and alumni was just a really great experience. And so I knew that I felt at home here. Hi, I'm Nixie Chen. I'm a first year and the social chair for Fuqua Pride. Uh, I chose Fuqua because I, you know, whatever school I ended up at, I knew I'd was going to go where I needed to go, but it's just who I wanted to get there with, and that Fuqua was the people I wanted to get there with, and identify as queer. Thank you, guys. Uh, we can get started uh, maybe with Nancy. We're here for this discussion with Fuqua Pride, but if you could tell us more about the mission of Fuqua Pride and really what the, what the purpose is to have this specific affinity group on campus. Sure. So um, I see the role of Fuqua Pride as twofold. So the first piece is to make sure that students at Fuqua, LGBTQ students, feel that they have a home. So that is a resource, a place to go, a first touch point for school issues, for a social network, for recruiting support, um, and really just to have a built-in home base um, while they're here at Fuqua. Um, within the larger Team Fuqua community, it's su very supportive overall, but it's nice to have that first place to go. Um, and then the second piece of it is really to be an advocate for LGBTQ students within the larger Fuqua community, as well as the larger Duke community. So we work with faculty and staff, with admissions uh, for events like this. Uh, we work to make sure that there are resources in recruiting for LGBTQ students. We um, really want to make sure that we are also building a community of allies so that people who when they're here at Fuqua they learn about our experiences and about how they might be different from the the rest of the student body and then can translate those when they go out into the business world that they become uh, leaders and advocates for the LGBT community as well so that's where I see Fuqua Pride really playing a big role nice it's really great to have that safe space community that Fuqua Pride um, makes on campus yeah, here. for sure. And I want to also uh, say that if you have questions, uh, it's definitely live question and answer, so uh, be sure to send in any questions and um, I'll see them pop up on my screen and we can take questions throughout as well. Um, so we'll continue going through and uh, maybe Jerron, you can help us uh, and talk about some of Fuqua Pride's signature events throughout the year because um, there are a couple of events that Fuqua Pride has. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so usually we start off the year with the welcome back barbecue that's hosted by second years. So we had that this year. It was a lot of fun. A lot of the second years got to meet the first years that just finished up the Global Institute, uh, which is kind of a four week um, program that first years go through to kind of get acclimated to Fuqua. Um, this year we also had trivia night and we kind of opened it up to the entire Fuqua community. Uh, it was a great time. There was pizza, beer, wine, and just getting to know our classmates and, and have a good time. Uh, so that was a really good event as well. 
Um, also, during the fall term, we kind of get kicked off and, and prepped for Ramba, which is the Reaching Out MBA conference. And so Ramba is kind of one of the signature conferences that um, um, that Fuqua Pride is, 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 has, has a really good showing at. And so I think this year we had probably like 15 um, classmates actually go and attend. And it's a really good conference where you can go and get internships and kind of interact and, and, and meet other LGBT uh, MBA students. We also had an event, uh, National Coming Out Day, uh, which was new for our organization this year, where a couple of our members got to share their coming out stories with the greater Fuqua community. And so, you know, once again, tying into that authentic engagement and kind of getting to know your classmates on a personal level, which was a, a really good experience. Uh, in addition, uh, during the fall term, we also have our Fuqua Pride Drag Show, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> this year, we. I think we ended up selling over 500 tickets, and there was so much love and support from the greater Fuqua community. Um, our associate dean was one of the judges. We had professors, people from our career management center that were all there and supporting uh, the LGBT community, and uh, it was just a great night. Um, additionally, we also, during the, the spring term, we have um, kind of what we call our Fuqua Pride Bar Crawl, and it's kind of in celebration of our Love is Love weekend, uh, which is a lot of fun, and we also host Fuqua Friday during that particular week. Um, and so there are a lot of social activities uh, that Fuqua Pride hosts, and, and plenty of ways to get involved uh, as a first and second year student here. Nice. And we were all smiling about the drag show because it is one of our favorite events here on campus. We actually have this year's winner <laughs> with us today, Chaz. <laughs> uh, but speaking of uh, uh, talking about um, getting involved on campus and then also Fuqua Pride, uh, maybe Chaz, if you could talk about what are the leadership opportunities. We talked about cabinet positions and people went around and uh, stated their cabinet position. So if you can talk about those leadership opportunities and what's specifically available for first years um, here in Fuqua Pride. Sure. Um, there are a lot of opportunities to be involved uh, on campus with Fuqua Pride, and you can really do that at any level you want, uh, whatever you're comfortable with and whatever you have the bandwidth to do. Uh, I think we have 17 or 13 positions this year, 13 seats on the cabinet, so if you want to take an active leadership role, uh, you could be like me and do admissions, and I work to plan the LGBTQ weekend. Um, there's also career and engagement, like social engagement, if you want to plan events. Um, so if you want to take a leadership role, you have that opportunity. But if you just want to be involved with the community, there's opportunity there too. You can help volunteer for specific events. You can help table to help promote events. Um, or you can just come and have a good time and come to the events. Um, we have a very open uh, engagement with not only the LGBTQ students here, but also the wider Duke community, the wider Fuqua community. Uh, so there's a lot of great opportunities for first year students to get involved, uh, whatever they feel comfortable with and whatever they um, want to contribute. Yes, and just to add on to that, I think one of the things that was great was last year I chose to be on the cabinet of other organizations but still stay very involved with Fuqua Pride. Um, and so this year I decided I wanted to step up my involvement and become a part of the cabinet. And so there's always that flexibility. It's not that you have to join first year. Um, so it's nice that you can still be involved, still feel part of the community even if you don't have a leadership role. Um, and also that we have ally chairs, which I think mm. is fantastic. We actually have five second year ally chairs and three first year ally chairs. So there's a lot of people who were kind of clamoring to support our organization and it was exciting to see that. Thank you. Um, and as prospective students, I know you've probably heard a lot about Team Fuqua. Mm -hmm. um, and so Nixie, if you can tell us about uh, Team Fuqua uh, and how it relates to uh, the diversity at Fuqua kind of in general. Yeah, of course. Um, so you're going to hear Team Fuqua a lot during your <laughs> <laughs> application and your time here. And I'm not by any means like a very rah-rah person, but you really feel it here. People go out of their way to support you in whatever way they can and initiate that sort of support. And in terms of diversity, um, we hear also that word a lot, but what I think Fuqua does differently is there's a sense of inclusion. And it's not just a lot of times, um, it's not just about like having the numbers, but also like engaging with people who are different from yourself on an authentic level. And you really get that at Fuqua where, you know, uh, I thought one of the mixtures that we had was really great was between like Fuqua Pride and the armed forces, you know, not too groovy normally you think of associating on a social level, but that was a really great opportunity to meet. Um, also just 
uh, all these other diversity and affinity groups, they're always open and welcome uh, to Fuqua Pride and regardless of your, uh, how you identify, um, there's always opportunities to engage and meet with people from all uh, backgrounds and walks of life here at Fuqua. Thanks. We actually had a question come in, um, and it relates to one of the things Chaz was going to talk about. Um, so we have a question come in that says, where are some of the best activities to do in the Durham area? So maybe Chaz, if you can talk about some of the activities to do in the Durham area, and maybe your experience of what it's like to be LGBTQ in the Durham area. So if you can talk about that a little bit. Sure. I think Durham is a really great um, town. Um, there's a lot of great food and uh, drinking if you want to do that. There's a lot of great, um, like just a, a good like food and bar culture. Uh, it's really growing. There's also a really great art scene. Um, there's the Deepak, which brings in major touring Broadway shows and dance. Um, and there's also really small theaters like the Carolina Theater that bring in smaller acts. It's a really intimate space. Um, and so there's a lot of great arts, um, especially if you're into uh, the art scene, as I am. I come from an arts background. Um, and as far as being uh, LGBTQ in Durham and at Fuqua, that was one of my big concerns when I was looking at schools was, you know, how open is the community? Is, is it going to be a place where I feel like I belong, where I can be myself? Um, and I have to say that it's exceeded my expectations in that regard. Um, I came last year for a visitation weekend, for the LGBTQ weekend that we have going on this weekend. Um, and I was really reassured by the community that this is a place where you can belong, you can be your authentic self, and never once have I had to hide who I am from my classmates, from my teachers, from anyone at the Duke community, anyone in Durham even. It's just a really inclusive and open place, and um, one of our paired principles is authentic engagement, and uh, in this regard, I've been able to do that like fully, and that's been a really great uh, thing about Fuqua. Yeah. Yeah, I think Durham is a really great area. You have to know it's not New York City. It's not one of these huge cities, but it has its charm. There's lots to do. I, I've discovered there's a lot of ap outdoor activities to do as well, a lot of hiking. Um, there's, so if you're into those kind of things, you definitely keep yourself busy um, here in Durham. Yeah, and I think one of the things about Durham is that there's there may not be a hundred of every activity, mm -hmm. but for pretty much anything you want to do, shopping, eating, drinking, yeah. hiking, like there is that an opportunity to do that within like a 20 minute drive. So mm -hmm. you never feel like the thing you want to do, the thing you're passionate about is, is really out of reach when you're here, which really surprised me actually coming from the Northeast. Um, so yeah, I think that's fantastic. And also uh, the Pride celebration in yeah. September every year, mm -hmm. they wait for all the college students to come back, um, but that's actually held in Durham for the whole greater triangle area. Area. So Durham really is the hub um, for the LGBTQ community. Um, since you mentioned the Triangle area, I think one of the important things to think about too is that it's not just Durham. You know, we're situated with Raleigh and also Chapel Hill. So you know, if Durham doesn't have a thing you want to do, you can definitely go and find it in Raleigh or, or Chapel Hill or in the greater area. <laughs> right. Exactly. And we have a lot of talking about working with different groups. We. Um, we interact with some of the business schools around when we do LGBTQ groups mm -hmm. uh, events as well. So that's really great to bring the triangle together. Yeah. Um, and we are taking questions, so if you just joined us, uh, feel free to send in a question and we'll be happy um, to take them live. Um, and so, Jaron, maybe we can go back to kind of that um, interacting. I know uh, Nixie uh, mentioned uh, the mixer that we had with the Armed Forces Group. Um, maybe you could talk a little bit more about how Fuqua Pride uh, interacts with the other clubs and other affinity groups here on campus. Yeah, definitely. And so Nixie mentioned uh, this past fall term we had a mixer with DAFA. Uh, it was a really great event. And so, you know, those types of events are, you know, something that Fuqua Pride is intentionally creating. And so we want to uh, become more, even more engaged within the Fuqua community. Um, and so some of the events that we've had in the past, and actually two weeks ago, we actually had um, Global Week here at Fuqua. And uh, it's basically an event where um, a lot of our affinity organizations um, are able to kind of showcase um, where they're from, whether it's through cuisine, whether it's through uh, the arts. And so uh, two weeks ago, Fuqua Pride actually hosted um, 
a Global Week event with Indus, which is our South Asian um, society. And so uh, we had a Bollywood screening and uh, Indian food, which is a lot of fun. Uh, we've also co-hosted events with Blimbao uh, in the past year. I remember we went had a movie outing and we yeah. saw Moonlight, uh, which is a lot of fun. We've also had um, panels with co-hosted panels with AWIB and the International Business Club on kind of the intersectionality of, of feminism. Um, so that was done uh, last year as well. And so, you know, the opportunities to kind of interact with other organizations is, is endless. And it's kind of up to uh, the cabinet members and, and members of Fugue Pride to kind of identify the opportunities and kind of put things together. Thanks. And so we know that recruiting is a big part of business school. Everyone's searching for that perfect job while they came to business school. So, uh, Nixie, maybe you can talk about, because you're a first year, um, talk about the, your recruiting process and your experience so far and going through recruiting as an LGBTQ person. Yeah, so recruiting, I'm currently recruiting for consulting, which is a job on its own. <laughs> and um, I think one of the mo things I didn't like consider when I was applying and uh, and like looking into Fuqua Pride was the wonderful support network of second years mm -hmm. that Fuqua Pride offers. Um, you know, Nancy, our career chair, does a wonderful job of making sure that the first years, uh, you know, it stays connected with all the opportunities available to, you know, LGBTQ students and just, it's just something that I did not consider. I was just like, I'm going to join Pride for the parties, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's been like an incredible opportunity. You also have like unparalleled sort of access to recruiters and just um, a lot of these companies want to make sure they're as inclusionary as possible. So they want to make, uh, you know, tell you about their company and you get like, a, a, you know, a lot of FaceTime and just like support from all these companies as well. And so being part of Fuqua Pride and as LGBTQ member, like a, a LGBT person has just brought about benefits that I didn't even like consider when coming to business school. Nice. And yeah. Nancy, you are the, the chair. Is there any other ways that um, we support um, the recruiting process or anything yeah. that Nixie? did mention. Yeah, so I think, you know, to Nixie's point, we do try to um, create opportunities for uh, companies to get to know our LGBT students a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, in smaller events, you know, with, with a class of 450, it is easy to feel overwhelmed. And so by creating these opportunities, I think that gives you a better sense of the companies, gives them a better sense of you, and gets to know you a little bit better. Um, so we try to create those opportunities and work with the companies um, pretty often to, to, um, to build that. Um, the other thing we do is just, uh, as Nixie mentioned, second years ha give up a lot of their time and energy to help first years and even to help each other if people are re-recruiting after their internship. Um, I feel like that is a big Team Fuqua thing to do, um, but it happens even more so within Fuqua Pride that people can um, get their resumes reviewed, practice interview questions, can oh. have cover letters reviewed, <laughs> um, have all of you know that support within Fuqua Pride. It's just an extra set of eyes, an extra set of support. Um, someone you feel comfortable with as well as opposed to a stranger or you know somebody in the CMC who you might not be as familiar with um, I think that's really important um, and then as Nick you mentioned and Duran too the Ramba prep um, I think Ramba is a fantastic opportunity um, I encourage you to go to that 100% um, but it, it can be overwhelming it's a big conference with lots of MBAs and so I think um, both Fuqua Pride uh, internally, but also in conjunction with a bunch of other diversity clubs that go to similar conferences around the country. Uh, we do a big prep session every year just to make sure you feel comfortable, you know what to expect, um, and can really make the most out of that conference. I think that's another big way we support each other um, in the recruiting process. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nice. I know that was one of the things I was a little nervous about coming to business school, being an LGBT person. Mm -hmm. I came from a nonprofit background and going into the corporate sector can you be out, that yeah. experience, and to, to know that recruiters are out there and mm -hmm. you get that one-on-one -on -one FaceTime because you're a member of Fuqua Pride is really great. Yeah, I, I think that actually I was kind of concerned about that as well. I didn't come out really until the very end of my career, right before I, I came to business school. And so um, I was really nervous about that and I didn't know what to expect. And what I found actually, and what I, I try to tell people is that it is entirely up to you on how out you want to be. You can be as out as you want within Fuqua and not in the corporate world. So it, it is a, a personal choice, but there are so many benefits when you choose to come to business school 
doors open for you mm-hmm. by being authentic and honest about who you are um, with companies. Yeah. And you know, you're not gonna um, you know, really face adversity from any of the companies I think that recruit at Fuqua. I've never seen an issue where somebody, ha- where that has become a, a point of, of problem. If anything, it's become an extra point of support. Yeah. Um, and so I feel like if, if you're, you're struggling with, should I be out in the corporate world, um, once you come to business school, that decision, in my mind, should be a no-brainer. Um, again, it's everybody's choice, but I think the, the support is worth it, well worth it. And thank you for all the work that you do as yeah. the career chair. <laughs> you help out the group a lot. Um, we are taking questions, so if there are any live questions, just send them on in. Um, we Maybe we can do a fun question for everyone in the group um, and just talk about maybe your favorite Fuqua Pride memory. If you want to go down, do you have a favorite okay. one, Chaz? Uh, I do, yeah. <laughs> um, my favorite Fuqua Pride memory has to be the drag show. No. Um, I was fortunate enough to enlist seven ladies from my section to perform with me, uh, which was really great. Like that speaks to the Team Fuqua, um, you know, vibe we have here of supporting each other. It was something I was nervous about and really didn't want to do on my own. And I knew it'd be a lot more fun with people I knew and uh, you know just having a great time. And it was a blast. It was one of my favorite memories of all time. Like even just beyond Fuqua, it was nice. it was just so much fun. I'd never done it before. Um, and, you know, we killed it. So. <laughs> Congratulations. He's amazing. Uh, I'm going to cheat and have two. So uh, my, my first favorite one is actually that Welcome Back Barbecue that John mentioned. Um, I came down to Fuqua, and, and luckily my fiancé does not live in Durham. She came down with me, though, for that first week and was able to come to that event last year. And just knowing that I could show up with her um, with – you know, that was kind of the first a first for me is like showing up to a new space with a significant other, uh, same sex significant other, and um, yeah, it just was so welcoming and so much fun, and I just felt immediately like day one I had this community. Um, and my second actually was last year, um, just on a whim, kind of put it out to the community and to put greater Fuqua friends as well to go to a show at DPAC. And so it ended up what I thought would be like three or four people coming to this this um, you know theater show with me, ended up being like 20 people who went to go see Hedwig and the Angry Inch, um, which a lot of them had no clue what it was about. And it was very <laughs> eye-opening. If you don't know about it, read the Wikipedia. Um, but for a lot of people, they had no, like, understanding of what the show is going to be about and they went anyway because they wanted to do something fun with Fuqua Pride and I think that was just a cool event um took very little to organize but also showed that that we have a broader community outside of just our our core membership I guess similar to Chaz um this year and last year I performed in the Fuqua Pride drag show and that was those were definitely my most favorite um Fuqua Pride memories I actually performed with Steven last year um and it was (laughs) You know, I was nervous, I'd never done it before, and I kind of got nudged, and I was like, okay, I'll do it. But in the end, it ended up being so much fun, and we actually ended up winning last year, so. Great time. Nice. Um, so I also have two. The first one is also Fuqua Drag Show. Um, just, uh, just because everyone outside of Pride was like, that was like one of the best things they've done so far at Fuqua, and that was very heartwarming to hear. Um, and the second is actually Ramba, and being able to spend time with like the second years, even though we were there recruiting, it was just a lot of fun just for a weekend to get out of Durham, go to Boston and uh, you know, be silly and go eat dinner and you know, have a good time and see, you know, Anderson Cooper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say the drag show as well. Um, there's a theme about how fun it is. Um, so my first year, it was really a great experience. Um, I had never done it uh, before either, and winning was really great. <laughs> and working with uh, the other uh, guys in Fuqua Pride. And then I, not just for me, I think for other students, it was really powerful. Um, one of my favorite memories of it is afterwards, just some of the international students coming up and talking to me and saying how, you know, they're really, they had a lot of fun coming and how it was really powerful for them because maybe in some of their countries, like they would, they had friends who were LGBTQ but couldn't be out. Mm-hmm. So just being there and being able to celebrate was a really powerful moment for them. Um, so I think it's really great for the people who are participating and then also for people who just show up to see a great show. Yeah. Um, it's really fun. Uh, I think one thing to emphasize is that it is a, like this year at least, it's the biggest event um, that we've had, the biggest. Uh, Pride drag show that we've had, um, and you know, over 500 people. That's more than half our class. 
uh, or ha half of our school. Uh, yeah. We have classes of about 450-ish. Mm -hmm. Um, so to me, that was a big deal. I was performing for half of my school. Uh, but to have that kind of support is something that, again, going back to when I was considering schools, like that speaks to the level of support and engagement and authenticity that we have here at Fuqua and something that I, I really appreciate um, and not something at all I, that I expected. So. And it was great that it was planned almost entirely by, uh, and with lots of support, but the, the head of the event was an ally chair. Mm -hmm. um, she joined, you know, she wanted to, to take on that role. She really wanted to make this event even better than it was when she attended last year. So um, really cool to see that, you know, somebody from out, outside of the community just wanted to put so much time into effort into something that really was Fuqua Pride's showcase event. Oh. Um, very cool to see that. Yeah, really cool. So we have some, uh, we do have some questions. One um, is saying, will the recording, uh, will we post the recording? I believe that this will be uh, posted. And then also, uh, can we have each person's email address? Uh, I know if you go to Fuqua Pride, um, our website, our our uh, presidents are on the uh, website, and I know that their email addresses are there, and so that's kind of the point of contact to get um, connected to all of us here at Fuqua. Yeah, and if you Pride. reach out to admissions as well, they can direct you to the most appropriate person because we all have different strengths and knowledge and backgrounds. So I think um, admissions, if you let them know you want to talk to somebody in Fuqua Pride, they'll make sure that they get you to to our presidents, uh, Brooke and Tossel, or. Um, to one of us or somebody here watching this years from now, whoever succeeds us. Uh, <laughs> hopefully uh, one of us will still be around. <laughs> uh, we also have another question about does Fuqua Pride partner with or support any outside organizations in the greater Durham area? So that's kind of what's our connection to uh, Durham. I, I'd love to talk. Um, so the other night, um, there was the Trans uh, Day of Remembrance. Um, and so myself and a couple other people from Fuqua Pride went to that in Durham and did a little candlelight vigil um, and went to the LGBT Center um, in Durham downtown, which is another great place. Um, also, um, some of the proceeds, or most of the proceeds from the, pride, the drag show um, helped support the LGBT Center in Durham. So I think that's just two very no. small ways that we interact, I think, with the larger uh, Durham LGBT community. Any others you guys can think of? I know broader Fuqua is definitely involved in Durham. It might not specifically be LGBTQ nonprofits, but I know from the very beginning you get involved with what's really going on in, Dur in Durham. Uh, there's a Habitat build mm -hmm. um, during Global Institute, and you continue on um, being involved in what's happening in Durham and nonprofits, and so you really are able to uh, to be connected to this community. It's not just uh, Fuqua, it's not just Duke. You're, you're really um, plugged into Durham community as a whole. Yeah, there are a lot of service projects that are done um, through the MBAA, the student government. Mm -hmm. um, there's a whole service cabinet that organizes them for students, but they're always welcoming more opportunities for engagement um, with Greater Durham. And yeah, I think Duke does a great job and we're, you know, we have access to the grad student um, network within Big Duke, um, as well as um, Duke's Center for um, Sexual and Gender Diversity. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I think I have that backwards, CGSD. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have opportunities to interact with Big Duke, who then does all, you know, yeah. kind of multiplies the number of events and ways that we touch the, the greater Durham community. Uh, so I think we're right at time. Uh, I want to thank you for joining us uh, today. Hopefully this is helpful for you to learn about uh, Fuqua, to learn about Fuqua Pride. Feel free to reach out, uh, connect with Fuqua Pride if you have uh, further questions, um, and hopefully this was very helpful. So thank you again.